I know this particular patient had been, um, their heart had been supported for weeks before and um, he was bed bound. And um, a lot of things happen um, when someone is deconditioned like that and then has to go into, you know, a fight for their life with an experimental procedure. Um, so I'm, I remain extremely optimistic. I think it's a, an incredible feat that um, he uh, was, you know, uh, kept alive for two months and was able to enjoy his family. For me, you know, as a heart recipient and my family that has a genetic um, heart disorder, we continue to be extremely optimistic that we're going to be able to solve um, this problem of the organ shortage and the fact that um, 6,000 people die every year waiting for an, uh, a transplant through xenotransplantation. This was um, a, you know, a first step into really um, uncharted territory in terms of um, taking care of you know, a patient who has received a xenotransplant for this period of time and all the complexities of that. And, um, I'm sure we'll find out that there was a tremendous amount of um, information that was learned and will contribute you know, tremendously to our understanding of um, the next steps after this. This has not in any way um, you know, dampened my enthusiasm um, about uh, xenotransplantation and the fact that it's close at hand. In fact, just the opposite. 